Hello and welcome. This is the next um, question for uh, OCR's F581 um, AS Economics video. All right, this is uh, June 2014, question two. Now, uh, I have the remnants of 1B on there. Uh, I'm not going to go over the data, the, um, the data response, the data that you're given. I, I case study, that's a case study. No. Uh, I'm not going to go over the case study again because I said that's mainly what question one was about. We'll just give you a recap, it's just about Airfix producing uh, the, the changing consumer type from pre-16 to post-16 due to advertising and um, the availability of substitutes. And also we're told about the Airfix moving to China. But as I said, that's all explained in the data response in question one. And obviously it's online as well. Okay, so question two is a very, very quick question. Uh, as I said, it's nothing too difficult, so I, I really should have probably included this in question one, but hey ho. Question two says, state two factors of production, okay? Um, now, as I said, you could, there's four, obviously, land, labour, capital and enterprise. You can pick any, any one, any two of them four, okay? Um, so, obviously, land and labour you might want to pick. Now, it does say in the mark scheme, obviously, uh, do not accept any examples. So, you can give examples, but they won't give you any more marks for it, because at the end of the day, it's only worth two marks, and you're asking you to state a factor of production. So if it said, state a factor of production with examples, then you would be asked to use examples. Now, obviously, you're not going to lose any marks for including examples, um, but really, that's all question two was asking. Okay, so thanks for watching, and hopefully see you in question three. Probably really should have put these questions together, but what are you going to do?